Hey, it's me. The first book on this list is The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. Yoon, like her main character, Natasha, was born in Jamaica and then moved to live in the United States. The themes on the book center around immigration, as Natasha, an undocumented teenager, a dreamer, tries to get permission to stay in the United States after learning that her family will be deported. On the way to her appointment with the immigration lawyer, she meets Daniel, a Korean-American living between cultures himself, who falls in love with her at first sight. Natasha feels attracted to him, but she knows that their chances aren't good. Racism, self-acceptance, and family relationships round out the themes of the story, and most of the conflict centers around the ways family can hold people together or tear them apart. The story even humanizes the secondary characters. Each person is appreciated for their strengths and their weaknesses. If you have ever lived in more than one country, have ever traveled abroad, or ever thought about the politics and personal consequences of immigration, then this book is for you. I will leave it up to you to decide if the book is a true romance. Does it have a happy ending or a happy for now ending? If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo is about new girl Amanda Hardy and her struggles to fit in in school after moving with her estranged father. Everything seems like it should be easy. She's beautiful, she makes friends with popular and unpopular girls, two football players are hating on her. In short, the transition is easy, but underneath she's hiding insecurity. What no one but her father knows is that she had just taken a year off of school while she transitioned from male to female. And her struggle is how much of herself that she owes to her family, friends, and potential boyfriend. The truth is, Amanda doesn't owe any of them any explanation of her life before, not even to grant the boy she's falling for. As one might expect, she's eventually outed and there is fallout. But the resolution takes several interesting turns that show Amanda's resiliency and that of the friends and family that stand by her. It doesn't have a traditional happy ending, nor a happy for now ending, but romance is used as the vehicle for Amanda to overcome her insecurity. She's happy in and of herself. All American Girl and its sequel, Ready or Not by Meg Cabot of The Princess Diaries fame, follows Samantha Madison as she rockets to the spotlight after saving the President of the United States' life. Coming into contact with the President also leads to her meeting and dating the President's teenage son, David. And there are all kinds of changes as she goes from obscurity to public figure. As sweet as David is, the story is centered on Sam's questions of what she's ready for and willing to do and how to go about asking for what she wants. All of that while in the public eye and being held as an example for other teens. A couple of strengths of these two books are a frank conversation about contraception and a conversation about female masturbation that is still rare to find a decade later. Agency and consent are sexy, and this book does such a good job on being sex positive and refusing to slut shame girls for their choices. 